Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 15th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Gave you a quick update this morning with the sun short. Did have that large plasma filament take off from the southern hemisphere. Not even able to see it here on three and four angstroms as it was pretty fast accelerated plasma stream taking off. Those images that I showed this morning were the last three hours, showing now the last two days of imagery. A couple large sunspots cresting into view, and as well plasma filaments. Looking at outgoing here, right-hand side watching the plasma filament, which is that dark lined region. That's in the southern hemisphere, waiting for that to destabilize or snap back. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events, and as well, regions to watch, quickly forming sunspot regions right out front, Earth-facing. And as well, we've got the coronal hole, which has increased our solar winds up and over 600 kilometers per second throughout the day today. Amazing images here, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, Mixed with daily events worldwide, 193 angstroms here. You can see that coronal hole and 171 angstroms. 1A1, you can see the magnetic loops depicting the magnetic fields of these sunspot regions as we have 10 sunspot regions that are Earth-facing right now. Notable are those Earth-facing fast-forming sunspots. And look at this. One, two, three, pretty sizable sunspot regions. Big black holes on our sun. You get out those eclipse goggles. Look at the sun during the day. You'll be able to see those sunspots with the naked eye. Amazing times to be alive and so grateful to have you aboard. Current space weather conditions. We are under minor geomagnetic storm impacts. And that is from our coronal hole wind stream which is smashing our planet at 627 kilometers per second at the moment. Hasn't quite reached the 700 kilometer per second yet. Showing here the solar winds on the left, wind speeds and pressure on the right. All of this brought to you by NOAA, open source media, mixed with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Get in the comments section. Let me know where you're watching from. No major solar flares to report since last night's update. It's been pretty quiet. Proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity was at a KP5 earlier throughout the day. It's now coming down. Space Weather Prediction Center here is showing the most recent CME and that was a plasma filament taking off from the southern hemisphere of the sun. That dark orange is the coronal hole wind stream. Iswa space prediction spiral showing outgoing CME in the back of the sun. Not sure what happened there. It could have been a plasma filament or a solar flare. But that took off right towards the Parker Solar Probe. Tonight's Aurora forecast and tomorrow's more prevalent tonight. Likelihood for the Aurora sightings across Alaska and northern BC. Showing Lasco 2 here, the last two days of cosmic energies leaving our sun. And as well, the most recent CME taking off from the south pole of our sun. Now let's get to earthquakes. Notable earthquakes starting out here this morning in Toya, Texas, with a 5.0 magnitude earthquake, 6 kilometer depth. And there is oil fields through the region, but this is not a fracking region. About 30 earthquakes have occurred in that region since. Notable earthquakes here, Malibu, California, 3.7, 3.5. California still on watch northward up the Juan de Fuca and into Alaska. Quiet through Hawaii, minor seismicity building through Alaska, largest being a 3.8. And 
notable activity here all across northern Japan, Hancha, Philippines, deep earthquakes all through Indonesia, Luatolo, Luatobi, very active volcanoes through that region, as well as Solomon Islands, New Caledonia, and a notable earthquake here in New Zealand, 4.5 magnitude, northern part of New Zealand. And then a notable earthquake here as well, 5.7, Koshagash, Russia, Mongolia and Russia border. That's a large earthquake. We haven't reported that size of an earthquake for quite some time through Russia. Largest last 24 hours, 6.0, Africa, Ethiopia, and as well, notable earthquake here, Cairns, Greece, as the earthquakes are moving northward now, still very spread out across the Aegean Sea as the earthquakes swarm northeast of the Santorini volcano and Colombo. This swarm has been occurring now for the past three weeks, waiting for something to give or blow. And this is where the most recent activity has bloomed. Parts of Cairns, Greece. And look at all that seismicity. Still looking at hundreds of earthquakes just in the last 24 hours. As well, notable earthquakes at Campy Flagry, but they have not upda updated since July. Still showing signs of unrest. So heads up, my friends and family. Active and erupting 76 volcanoes across the planet. And there's notable seismicity here at the Tirchira volcano. Most recent earthquake there being a 4.3 just west. Carrying on here around the world. Notable earthquake here, deep. San Antonio de los Cobros. And minor seismicity through the Caribbean. A little bit too quiet today for my liking. Heads up, my friends and family. Still expecting a larger earthquake here to come. That 6.0 Ethiopia is just a little bit of a pressure pressure valve release for what's going on in the Mediterranean as the African plate is maybe slowly moving northward into the Arabian plate. All this most recent activity, something's definitely adding up and something is definitely about to give. Heads up, California north to Alaska. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes, multiple volcanoes through Guatemala and Mexico and as well Kilauea, large nine eruptions since Christmas. And that's the same with Etna. As well, notable there, big plumes coming out of Alaska. So yeah, I was talking about Mount Etna. Just in the past three days, I think three days now, there's been nine eruptions. Looking around the rest of the world, not much else to talk about. No new major plumes, but notable northeast of Australia, the Fiji region. And then here in the North Atlantic, towards the Canary Islands. And as well towards Iceland. Watching for something big to erupt here soon. Having a look here at World Weather, we're going to be giving you the temperature forecast as we've got extreme cold temperatures that will be funneling down right across Canada. Double-digit extreme temperatures through Alberta and the Canadian prairies. And then eventually high-pressure ridge builds in for the long range. But watch for higher elevations to still be very cold with our collapsed magnetosphere. Overlooking at Europe and Russia. And as well, notable, the Tibetan Plateau. When you get into those purples, those are minus double digits. At higher, at higher elevations at a very low latitude. Welcome to the new mini ice age. We're going to see some big changes here coming up over the next five years. And I'm so grateful to have you aboard. 
Thanks for watching tonight. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Love and respect one another. Bye-bye.